Shopping for an e-bike? The juiced Rip Current S Step Through might be the answer. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you'll certainly live amazing with the right e-bike. And if you haven't already seen it, we have an e-bike shopping video just about general e-bike shopping. But today, we're actually talking about a specific e-bike. And it's the Rip Current S by Juiced. And what is it about that bike? It's a step through which is very convenient when you're doing a lot of stop and go. And it's a fat tire. It'll go on the beach and the trails. If you don't know, we are full-time RVers and it's great to have a bike that'll just go anywhere. Soft dirt, sand, we had it on the beach. <laughs> so we wanted to make this video to give you the ins and outs because there has been an e-bike shortage and yes. most likely you're shopping online. The Juiced Rip Current S Step Through has a 750 watt geared hub motor, a nine speed cassette, and a 52 volt 19.2 amp hour battery, which is one of the largest in the industry. It also has torque and cadence sensors. It has a thumb throttle and six levels of pedal assist. The rip current has an adjustable front suspension. It comes with front and rear fenders, a headlight, tail light, and cargo rack. It also has a kickstand. All right, so the number one thing people always ask about with e-bikes is how far will it go? So how far will this rip current go? I think this bike in real world conditions will do easily 60 miles, easily. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can, if you slow down and do a little bit more work, you could get 80 out of it, I'm sure, with that, right. with the battery that's on it. It depends on you know how much you're working and how yeah. much you weigh, if you're going on hills, that kind yep. of thing. That's, that's what makes it so difficult to pin that number down because there are a lot of factors that go into it. You're, you're riding into the wind, are you riding uphill? How heavy are you? How much work do you want to do? So it's a good bet, 60 miles. 60 miles is a good number. All right. Yep. One of the nice things about the entire Juice line is that they use a, a thumb throttle as, as opposed to a twist throttle. We both prefer, I think, the, uh, the thumb throttle. <laughs> I broke my hand with a twist throttle. It's so easy getting off and on to, to hit that twist throttle. The thumb throttle is just a lot better. Yeah. And we're actually not using the thumb throttle like, you know, tooling around like a moped or something. But when we're riding in traffic, you know, stop and go, we just goose the throttle just a little bit to kind of, you know, to keep up with the yep. traffic. Get the mass moving and then, and then you just don't touch the throttle again until mm -hmm. the next time you come to a stop. Yeah, if you're running on throttle only, you're not using the pedals at all, you're going to be limited to 20 miles an hour. This bike will go much faster in pedal assist. I'm gonna go through the ranges here and I'm gonna stay in top gear. This is a nine speed and I'm gonna be in ninth gear. So right now I'm in ego mode and I'm pedaling with moderate effort and we're doing 14 miles an hour. Level one, let's say we topped out at 18 on this range and I'm at level two now and I'm able to do 20. Okay, level three, we are gonna get about 23 miles an hour and let's go to sport level and here's where it gets fun. Almost 28 miles an hour, racetrack assist level. You can see I'm increasing speed even though I'm going up a slight hill. So what is the top speed then for a typical person, you know, riding flat on the juiced rip current? It will do 30. That's really fast on a bike. Okay, so who is this bike for? I think it's for somebody that likes to do off-road and on-road. It's a nice all-around bike. But not gnarly off-road. So if there's big ruts, big rocks, it's not, this is not the bike for that. It's definitely for anything groomed uphill, downhill, flats, trails, anywhere, and the beach. It's just great on the beach, loose dirt, and of course the road too, right? It's good on oh, the yeah. road. Yeah, it'll handle the road. If you let some of the air out, you'll get a little bit of a softer ride on the, on the street. All right, so what are the downsides of this bike? Well, the major one for, for us is the weight. It weighs 75 pounds and, and, and it's a handful to load it onto a bike rack. Right, so if you are traveling, if you're like us and you're RVers, you have to think about the fact that you'll be lifting it up a lot. Now, if you never are gonna be putting it on a bike rack, 
then it's not an issue. Now, you also do not want to have this bike if you live in an apartment and you have to oh, take yeah. it upstairs. You wouldn't want to. Yeah, this you wouldn't is want not, to haul this thing up a set of stairs. Yeah, but, this is not a city bike. No. If this is your first e-bike, they are heavy, and it's not unusual to see a 70, 75-pound fat tire yeah. bike. They're mostly in that weight yeah. range. Okay, so who is this bike not for? This bike is not for somebody who's going to be doing 100% of their rides on the road and likes to go fast. Like a commuter bike, right? Yeah. Like if you're commuting back and forth and you're staying on asphalt, you're going back and forth to work or you know, you're delivering pizzas or whatever, then this is not the bike for you. Probably not. I mean, it will it will certainly work for that. If you want a commuting bike and you want to stay on the asphalt, what bike would you recommend? The bike that I ride, my my own bike is a cross current X, a juiced cross current X. And how much faster will it go than the rip current? I've had the rip current to 30 and I've had the cross current X to 34.9. So let's say 35. Yeah, it's 65 pounds versus 75 pounds. So we did a review on Paul's bike, um, the thousand mile review. Now you're probably coming close to 3,000 3, miles. Yeah, I'm sure I've got 3,000 on it at this point. And if you're wondering what I've had to do to it in, in all those miles, is I've replaced the chain on it once. And that's it. That's it. Now here's something to note. If you're a couple, it's very important to get matching e-bikes. Yeah, otherwise one person will be waiting for the other all the time. Plus, if you want the range to be the same so that you, you know, you go out for a ride and, and the other person says, oh, I got to turn around, I'm, I'm running out of battery. Now one thing to consider if you're buying e-bikes, if you're going to travel with them, and if you're going to keep them in your garage and ride from your home, this is not an issue. But if you're going to travel with them, you need to get a rack that is certified for e-bikes. Now, there has been a shortage of bike racks. Um, we will put a link to ours, and we, we know that they are coming in stock soon. You want to make sure that it can handle that weight um, because your typical bike rack, no matter what it is, is not going to be able to handle the, the weight yeah, of an e-bike. And a locking rack is, is a good thing to have. <laughs> yes, e-bikes are definitely something that people like to steal. I actually had my first e-bike stolen. So we do recommend a locking e-bike rack. And if you don't have that, then we have an e-bike lock we recommend. Yes, we have a case-hardened chain lock that we use to lock our two bikes up. I don't know if you can see, but I'm, I'm wearing bike shorts under under these pocket shorts. And ladies, this really makes a difference for riding and, and for men too. It yeah, can be more yeah. comfortable. Believe me, it makes a huge difference if you're gonna spend an hour or so in your saddle. We'll put a link to them in the description. Juiced is a US-based company. It's in Chula Vista, which is a suburb of San Diego. And they are very responsive to the customer. Whenever you buy a bike online, you want to look for a company that has good customer support. You may not ever need to call them again, but if you do, they're there. And they've even put a YouTube channel together and they have a ton of videos on there. Check that out too. So we have partnered with Juiced to give you some savings. Use our link to get the best prices. You'll get $100 off of one e-bike and $250 off of two e-bikes. Yeah, you won't get a better deal anywhere. If you're looking for motivation to get yourself out there on the road, check out our other channel, which is Amazing Bike Rides. People also use these videos to work out at home. So if you are on a treadmill or on a stationary bike at home, check that out.